Well, Scott Brash joining me. Scott, here at the World Championships. Well, we've had success at the Olympics and the Europeans. It can't follow all the time. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah it can't happen all the time. And yeah, just uh, didn't go our way at the show. And from the point of view of qualification, we now look forward to the Europeans next year to try and qualify. But that could be a different prospect. We could have the likes of Nick Skelton, Big Star, and, and Ben as well around then. And a new combination with Spencer Rowe. It's just a great experience for him. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think you can write off uh, all the guys that are here either. I mean, uh, and more new combinations, I'm sure, will come uh, before the Europeans. There'll be a lot of water pass under the bridge by then. But uh, I think there's a lot of positives to take from this championship I think we've got two riders that are capable of riding championships and two horses that are capable of, of performing and you look at the faults they had it's just silly little faults it's not uh, it's not that they're not capable of doing this and and from and from an experience point of view I mean you yourself went to Kentucky yeah absolutely and it's important you need to get that first one under your belt and then you'll you'll only get better from there on and improve you you know you know what it's all about you you understand the format more and yeah you understand what what what, what it takes to to do it and from your point of view looking ahead you're you're still involved in the in the individual side of the competition but the format here for the world championship the changing different horses with the final four it's it's one that causes controversy all the time yeah it does it's it's very different it, it is different i think it's entertaining for the public you know um, it's a lot of jumping for the horses, so yeah, there's 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 uh, fours and against the 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 the, the format, and uh, but it's it's nice to have different formats in in, in jumping, and uh, yeah, that's that's the way these the, this championship is. And it, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, if you look at our four at the moment, the likes of Rolf Jorin Banks and BC Man, Daniel Doyser, uh, therefore you wouldn't mind running your horses. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they're they're four top class riders, and uh, I think even the ones below them, they're, they're, they're to be honest, when, once you get to that that point, they're going to be they're going to be top class uh, riders, and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be an interesting uh, end to the competition. It'll be it'll be good to watch. Well, we'll see how the mix plays out, and obviously from your your side of things, I mean, who do you think will be the real player this week? Um, I think I think there's 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 a number of guys going well, as you said. Uh, uh, Beasy, Patrice wanting to go well on his home ground he'll be hard to beat um, Daniel Douse is going well, Marcus Henning can never rule him out, he's done fantastic here today uh, Rolf's going extremely well so there's, there's, a, there's a lot of combinations but there's a lot of jumping to go yet so a, a lot will change round to, uh, more but uh, yeah there's been uh, some, some top jumping here already Well Scott we wish you the best we see how the rest of the week plays out and see how it comes out from this year's World Championship. Well done. Cheers.